Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Aerolite 2110 RBSL. This is a great couples coach, nice and lightweight, especially for having a slide. It's going to come in right around 4,500 pounds. But let's go ahead and start up front. Here we'll make our way around and then head on in. So right up front is the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. There's also a light on there in case you want some extra visibility at night. Behind that's your propane tank cover with two 20 pound propane tanks there. Nice and easy to access, just undo the thumb screws and you can lift up the door to get in at your tanks. Behind that you have rails for battery box there. And coming up the front is black diamond plating to help protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. So we make our way around, we can take a look at the sidewall here. You'll see this is a fully laminated product, uh, six sided aluminum on here as well. So aluminum all the way around, making that aluminum cage, which is great for rigidity and construction. You'll see right here, the pass through storage does have a covered hinge also. It is a slam latch baggage door and magnetic as well. So we have the trifecta there when it comes to the pass-through door. Let's take a look at the pass-through storage. It is nice and big, very wide door as well. So if you have larger items like zero gravity chairs and things that you want to fit in there, you can easily do that. And of course there's a light in there if you have to get in there at night. Power awning right here covers pretty much the entire box. Touch a button that rolls out, same thing to go right back in. And it does have an LED light on there too. So again, if you wanna set up some chairs out here, hang out at night, you can turn your lights on. You don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Just making setting up and breaking down camp a little bit easier for you. Getting in is nice and easy. You'll see you have three steps here as well as a foldable grab handle. Has a stainless steel look to it. Uh, gives it that little extra flair. And of course the triple steps make it nice and easy to get into the coach. If you take a look underneath, one of the things you can see is the fully enclosed and heated underbelly there. Uh, that's very advantageous as well. One, it'll help keep some of the critters out. And two, it definitely helps uh, prevent your tanks and lines from freezing up. As long as you're running the furnace, there's actual forced air blown in there, making sure that uh, those things won't freeze on you. Right here, if you take a look at the uh, wheels and the tires, you'll see nitrogen filled tires, aluminum alloy wheels on there as well, so less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. Right here is an outside TV mount, which is cool. The TV inside can actually come off the mount, take it right out here, drop it into place. You'll see your connections are right here as well. And that's smack dab in the middle of our awning. So uh, that way you can go ahead and set all your chairs up and around and still have plenty of cover. Also, if you look up top, you will see your two outside speakers. So if you want to listen to some music out here, you can do that as well. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside. However, it is Bluetooth capable. Right back here is a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, uh, this unit basically has sprayers built in the black tank. So when you're done camping, after you drain your black tank out, you can hook a hose up right here. That will put the water into those sprayers. That way it sprays out the black tank, washing out any remnants that are left behind. Make a way around to the back. You have a spare tire here on the bumper. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's great knowing it's riding right back there with you. Then on the off door side here, they do conveniently put everything right in one place. You have a light in case you have to uh, hook up or disconnect at night. Cable inlet, city water right here. You have a spray port, so if you need some water outside, you have that access and a detachable 30 amp power cord. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Aerolite 2110 RBSL. This particular model is in the Cool Springs interior. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen area. You'll see it is nice and bright, lighter countertops in here, which is very nice. Double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller one on the right, and the high rise faucet. Uh, of course, you have a window here to let in some natural light during the day. LED lights will give you the light you need at night. Three burner Atwood cooktop here. Front, uh, the front one is high output and then you have an oven underneath for baking. Now let's take a look at the storage. You have good storage in here as well. Nice deep drawer right here, as you can see. And then take a look at this one. Underneath the sink, huge storage area over there as well. So between the two, plenty of room for pots and pans. Then as we move up front here, 
right as soon as you walk in, I'll go ahead and open this up. And that's great. You have shoe storage right there, whatever else you want to put there. But of course, that's what I would put there. Uh, and so I think that's pretty cool that you have that as soon as you walk in. Then right up top here, go ahead and open this guy up. You see good pantry space over there. Your uh, microwave right here as well, stainless steel, and you have your stainless steel hood with the light and fan. You have an electrical outlet right underneath right there, so if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, anything like that, you can go ahead and do that as well. Rounding out the kitchen is this right here, which is your Norcold fridge-freezer combo. Uh, plenty of space in there. This one does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Now let's take a look at the ceiling real quick. There's a couple things I want to point out. Uh, LED lights throughout the entire ceiling, which are great, nice and bright, don't put out the heat, use a fraction of the power. You have a big skylight right here, which lets in a ton of natural light during the day. Speakers, you have the WineGuard Razar TV antenna, so you don't have to uh, you know, worry about raising and lowering your antenna. All you have to do is just turn that. Ducted AC through here as well. Now if you take a look right over here, uh, this is the slide out in this coach. You have a dinette here, and that definitely opens up this space. Beautiful flooring they have in here as well. I may add that's new uh, for the fall, so I do like the flooring. But uh, the dinette is plenty large. If you have you know, two people, four people, you can easily sit here, have a meal together, play a game. And that does drop down into an additional bed. Just go ahead and remove these poles out of the flanges. The table will then sit along the rails here, and then take the cushions and fill it in on top. Windows all the way around also let in a lot of natural light. And if you need to do some work, you'll see right down here is a uh, electrical outlet. So that way you can easily plug in a laptop or a tablet. Then right back here across the way, this is great pantry space. You can see that there. Um, you know, just again, room for all of your extra foodstuffs. And then your furnace will be right there. In the back here is the bathroom. Go ahead and open this up. We can take a look, come on in. So right down in the corner here is your foot flush lever toilet. Uh, you can see you have sufficient room. They have a nice cutout here. Electrical outlet with this nice uh, shelf here too. I think that's pretty cool that they added that in the sink top and vanity. So that way if you need to plug in like a curling iron or something, it can go ahead and sit right back there. Storage underneath the sink here as well. Uh, mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. But take a look at all this storage over here. You have excellent storage. We can open this up. Huge wardrobe on both sides. You can see you have a removable shelf on one side there as well. Two large uh, full extension drawers underneath that. Then right here on the wall, you have a couple of robe hooks. Also up top, you'll see it is ducted here for your AC. Uh, you have your vent there to go ahead and get out all the moisture. And then over on the other side is the Neo Angle shower. You'll see how the doors do stay right here in the track, so all the water stays in the shower pan, which is very nice. Uh, some shelving in there, your hand wand, and then a large skylight up top. Then right here is the entertainment center. You can see your TV, of course. This is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to pull it out, angle it towards the dinette a little more, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, right underneath is the uh, multimedia center. This is a radio CD and DVD player. Go ahead and pop a movie in there to watch it. And then you can control the speaker zones both inside and outside. And as I mentioned, this unit is Bluetooth capable. If you take a look right underneath here, you can see some good additional storage right there as well. And you'll also notice I flipped this on. You do have a backlight here behind the TV, which is pretty nice, just helps a little bit with visibility. And then same thing there under, uh, underneath, which gives it again a nice little accent at night. Let's go ahead and head up front here into the bedroom. Uh, so a couple of quick things. One I wanna point out is the doors. You'll see you have actual pocket doors on here rather than curtains. Uh, so those work wonderfully, give you that little extra feeling of privacy. Windows on both sides for a nice cross breeze here. Uh, queen bed. You can see that, that is a full 60 by 80 queen bed, so it's residential size. Uh, you do have storage underneath, which is very easy to get to. You can see the aluminum frame on there, which is nice. And then if we take a look at the sides here, you have mirrored wardrobes on both sides. Uh, hanging space across the top there, of course. Uh, shelf up top. And then down below, you'll see an electrical outlet on both sides. And this side over here actually has a couple of USB ports as well. So if you wanna you know, plug your cell phones into that, you still have this other electrical outlet, you know, plug in a CPAP or something like that. 
Storage across the top here as well. You can see the frosted glass on there. LED lights as well as LED reading lights right under here. You have a vent. And then on the other side, you also have TV hookup. So if you do want to hook up TV and watch a show before bed, you can do that too. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Aerolite 2110 RBSL. This is a great lightweight couples coach. It's right around 4,500 pounds. You have the nice big slide on there. Uh, great amenities. It's nice and bright in here too. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel so you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.